Well, hello, folks. This is an interesting opportunity to really talk to you about something. It's a little more scientific. You'll have to forgive me, but it's really, really important because half the medications we're giving for uh, the stimulant medications for attention deficit disorder are amphetamines. Half are methylphenidate, abbreviation for amphetamines, AMP. Abbreviation for methylphenidate, MPH. You see that in the literature. But the bottom line here is I'm going to tell you about a pipeline in the liver that you really need to know about, and that is cytochrome P450 2D6. Now, that's not really too deep. I've been talking about it for many, many years, since back in 96 when I first found out about it. And no, guess what? I didn't want to hear about it either because I thought I knew what I was doing until I actually got deeper into the brain science. Like, oh my gosh, this is so important. What's the problem with 2D6? Anybody that's ever been evaluated by me knows that I ask the following question with every interview. Not almost every interview. Of course, if the kid's six years old, I don't ask this. But if they're adolescents or adults, I say, you know, have you ever taken any amphetamine products? Have you ever done any uh, stimulant medications like Crystal Crank, 357 Magnums, Yellow Jackets, Black Beauties, White Crosses, Pink Ladies, Christmas Trees, Bam Dex, Meth, Speed, Ecstasy, Vivance, Adderall, or Dexedrine. Yeah. Now, there was a trick, trick point in there, and that was that Crystal Crank, 357 Magnums. 357 Magnums, yeah, they're caffeine. If you're a a person who uses a few drugs, you know that it's caffeine. You'll catch me, hey, that's a scatsy caffeine. Well, thank you. I'm, now I know more about you than I did. But the bottom line is, why do I ask that question? 2D6 is an important pipeline that comes up through the liver. All the medications have to come up through the liver. And if they don't come up through the liver, they're not going to get metabolized. They just waste it. So they come up through the liver, amphetamine, Amphetamines, I'm sorry, I, was, I said all the drugs. Amphetamines run up through 2D6. Now, what happens is methylphenidate products actually block 2D6. This is all referenced in my book. You know, there's a specific drug-drug interaction book that I reference in there. But the bottom line is we need to know about this. The public needs to know about this. Why? And I'm going to talk more about it in the next video because there are specific drugs that actually sit on top of that pipeline, if I can get in the camera here, I'm going the wrong direction. It sits in on the top of that doggone pipeline. Well, who cares? <laughs> hey, friends, I care a great deal. Why? Because if it sits on top of that pipeline, a person's taking amphetamine and it's actually blocking the metabolism of that amphetamine, you tell me, what's the common sense conclusion of what's going to happen if you're taking a medication that's blocked and it can't metabolize? It's going to accumulate. And if it accumulates, what's going to happen? You're going to go ba-boom. Now, one of the reasons some drugs like amphetamines specifically accumulate is because 5 to 7% of the Caucasian population and 3% of the African-American population have a genetic, what they call polymorphism. It's a narrow pipeline, not a big, fat, wide pipeline. Now, wide pipeline, you have to use more drugs and it has to come through to, to actually have a therapeutic effect. A little narrow pipeline, almost a non-existent pipeline, gets plugged way too easily, and you can have all kinds of profound reactions if you don't know. Now, why did I ask that question I started this with about amphetamines? Why did I ask Crystal Crank, 37 Magnum, Yellow Jackets, Black Beauties? Why did I ask that question? Very simply, because if you've taken them, like, doctor, I'm going to tell you something. I was raised in California. I did methamphetamine all the way through high school. And I did very well, thank you very much. I modified it and I handled it. What does that tell me, folks? That tells me that they we don't have to worry about the genetic polymorphism. They've actually taken an amphetamine product. Now, that doesn't mean I'm going to be flip and capricious about dosage, but it means that I know that this person is not going to be one of those that's going to have an atypical reaction. So I'm just going to continue to use my same careful strategy for starting the medication, but I've got that 2D6 pipeline right in my head, and I'm going to share that with you, and I hope you get it in your head, because it can cause a problem with your care. Thanks. You guys have a great day. Talk to you later.